Most kids and adults with these complaints are suffering from a condition called functional disconnect. This is the inability for the two hemispheres of the brain to communicate with each other properly. In other words, the pathways that are there to connect do not work properly if you have functional disconnect. When this occurs in children, it commonly presents as hyperactivity, attention deficit, impulsivity, and so on and so forth. And in adults, it shows as difficulty with following directions, remembering information, concentration, organizing tasks, or completing work within a set amount of time. Another cause of functional disconnect is stress. Stress can be physical, such as birth, such as trauma, such as car accident. It can be chemical, such as smoking or alcohol in case of an adult. We commonly see some type of food and toxin sensitivity that is contributing to your symptoms as adults and children. The only way to know is to get tested. Once again, the only way to know what foods you are sensitive to is to get tested. It is not measured by how you feel or how your child feels or how you as parent diagnose your child. We have all done that. And yes, hyperactivity, impulsivity, autism, panic attacks, anxiety could be directly related to food sensitivity. Stress could be emotionally induced, could be chemically induced. Bullying children, verbal abuse, those are all stress for our children. So an asymptomatic patient can still be harboring these sensitivities that affect them tremendously. It is a fact that inflammation causes overstimulation in your body and damages brain neurotransmitter activity. In terms of evaluation, we have to look at what is driving these symptoms to affect your brain function. Common causes are autoimmune conditions such as thyroid, Hashimoto's condition, untreated strep infection, very big. Your child may have had strep infection that is lurking in his or her body without symptoms. Having processed foods, toxic diet, heavy metal toxicity, it is big. We have to run some tests. Anemia. Other cause of your brain not functioning properly and optimally is computer games. Watching TV before sleep. As I said before, food sensitivity such as gluten. We will test you for over 100 of foods and environmental sensitivity testing to see what your body is reactive and sensitive to and does not like and you keep introducing these agents to your body. Another cause of stress is chemical stress. Having over-the-counter vitamins that do not even absorb properly. 80% of our population have low vitamin D. It is a fact. Vitamin supplements are not created equal. There are many patients who are taking vitamin D and still feel horrible and still have low vitamin D levels. We give our patients pre-digested vitamin D that your body can absorb. That is why our vitamin D works and your vitamin D levels increase by taking the proper supplements over a matter of a few weeks. Lack of digestive enzymes, and proper bacteria in your gut attribute to your functional disconnect. This is one of the first areas we need to address, your gut health. Don't forget, over 80% of your immune system comes from your optimal functioning gut. So we need to support it.